let's say you followed every possible tutorial you have on how to light your scene properly in V-Ray for SketchUp, and you have managed to come up with a perfect lighting for your scene, but you still find the render to be not so perfect. That's because a good lighting takes you halfway to the realistic render that you are looking for. In this video, we shall see how to solve this common issue with three quick fixes. First one is framing. Essentially when you are creating a render, you want it to be visually pleasing. Most of the time the focal length of 45 to 60 degree feels visually attractive. To change the focal length press the shortcut Z which will let you know the current field of view. Just type the field of view you want, I'll enter 45 degree. There you go, you have a view that is slightly zoomed in but better than before. You can adjust the scene so that the contents of the scene is visible. As you can see the vertical lines are not straight. This sometimes gives an elongated look. To fix that go into camera and turn on two-point perspective. Now that's fixed, I'll render the scene and give you a before and after comparison. Next one is depth of field. Usually when you look at the close-up images taken in real life camera, you can see that the objects that are not focused is slightly blurred. This is due to a wider aperture on the camera lens. We can replicate this effect by an V-Ray render engine. By going under camera setting as asset editor and turning on depth of field. To set the focus distance by clicking this icon and selecting the object. Or you can manually set the focus distance. The focus value changes how blurry the non-focused objects are. Higher value gives a more blurry output. Let's render and see the before and after comparison. As you can see this slight change can increase the realism especially when you are taking close-up shots. Third common mistake I see in a lot of people renders is not using high-quality assets. Using high-quality assets can drastically improve the look of your render, so spending a little bit more on choosing the assets can go a long way. You don't need any third-party website to find good models. You can find good models in SketchUp Warehouse if you properly search for them. Usually when you search for a model, you get not-so-good ones. What you need to do is to jump into collections. Here you can find collections saved from other users. We can find some great models here. Please let me know any other common fixes that can be done to improve your renders. And that is all for today guys. If you found the video useful, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.